I feel like life always has this way of just bringing you right to a valley point before you reach your peak because when I tell y'all how everything turned out for my birthday far exceeded any of my expectations that I had built and tried to puzzle together for myself exceeded above and beyond things can be rearranged just for you and having big faith and trusting God that even the things that I think for myself he's like that's not enough like I want so much more for you and I gotta start believing that for me and wanting so much more for me too so hey journeys where y'all been it's unique and i'm back with another video so it's been a minute okay it has been a minute since the last time that i put out a video for you guys the last time i went out a video i was crying i don't feel happy i feel like such a screw up and such a fuck up i feel like the mistakes that i made in life has triumphed anything that could have been positive or quote unquote went well it's just like i'm a broken messy person yeah that's where i'm at with it so um <laughs> i was crying i was messy i was sad and i just was not in the mood and it's so crazy because i feel like life always has this way of just bringing you right to a valley point before you reach your peak and i know that i haven't updated you guys about my feels and what's kind of been going on with me since i last put out that video i honestly have just been catering to my membership space hence why it's so important for you guys to join my membership channel here on my youtube when you're on your computer or desktop mode you will see a button that says join and y'all can join my membership space and become my passport holder that is the top tier that we have right now and if y'all are interested definitely click on the join button you'll just put in your card details and y'all will become a monthly subscriber to this channel which I highly recommend because if y'all are wondering like where's the videos where's the vlogs the vlogs is on the membership space so i'm just gonna put that out there for y'all who probably feel a little bit lost around what it is that i have been doing what it is that i've been up to in the future post my birthday content and travel content here on this public space but my daily lifestyle type vlogs i will keep that in the membership also just tea about how i'm living where i'm living what i'm doing as i'm living is going to be on in the membership space so now that we got that out the way let me get y'all an update from where we left off so the last time that i gave y'all a mental health update i was talking about how i was sad messy broken and highly disappointed over my 30th birthday because i had this grand plan of what it was that i wanted to do life just was lifing in a way that it was just like i could not see the forest from the trees and how the plan that i had for how i wanted to spend my birthday would align with the reality that it is that's my life looking back on it right now i just need to practice faith for one I had to bet on myself for two and three. I just had to give it to God, honestly. I had to take my hands off of the situation, not try to continuously control the narrative of what I wanted things to play out like. Because when I tell y'all how everything turned out for my birthday far exceeded any of my expectations that I had built and tried to puzzle together for myself exceeded above and beyond the things that came to fruition for me beyond just a simple ask of one experience that i wanted was just amazing but it took me getting out of the victim mentality feeling like what was me about everything feeling like all my responsibilities and adulting was getting in the way of me being able to have a good time and being able to really enjoy my birthday like there was a huge wake-up call that happened for me in april that really made me see my birthday in a different light and it also made me stop complaining about how i wanted my birthday to be because 
on the surface level of it all what i wanted to do for my birthday was so basic like it wasn't even an extraordinary thing that was so out of reach it wasn't an out of reach wish at all but what i has realized was that i allow my current condition which is like a karmic lesson for me i allowed my current condition to dismay me around how it was that i was going to experience it so y'all know i mentioned the wake up call that happened for me and for y'all who don't know i do have a spirituality channel it's called the unique journey and on the unique journey i do do prophetic words over there or readings and just messages from spirit so if y'all into stuff like that definitely click on the link in the description box down below because it's always down there so tap in i do have a series over there called the wake up call and i'm telling y'all being on this spirituality journey being on this journey that we call life i'm constantly having these wake up calls that just giving me revelations that i need as it relates to how to get to and get through all these different happenings so one thing that i did not expect on my birthday but spirit put it in my spirit that this was gonna happen it was like a week or so before my birthday i had found out that one of my boyfriends from high school had passed away now he had these medical issues from when we was teenagers that i was very much so aware about but i didn't think he would die in our late 20s going into 30s so he actually was my age 30 years old passed away and y'all i went to a funeral on my birthday Mind you, I had not been to church in a while and I have my reasons for that. I may do an up-to-date video about why I don't go to church. I do have a podcast as well as videos around why I don't go to church. I'll leave those in the description box down below. But on my birthday, I went to attend a homegoing service of somebody that was my age. And when I say this was a huge wake-up call for me, it made me realize that all of the stuff that I had worried about, all of the stuff that was bothering me, everything that I felt like wasn't working together for my favor was so minuscule in comparison. Like somebody just lost their life. Somebody that's your age. You're turning 30 and this person is 30 and they're in their casket going into a different life. The time that we have here, y'all, is not to be taken for granted. And I think that because my emotions be so out of whack, my ways and processing things and how I take stuff on as an empath can just be a lot at times that I lose sight of, you're not going to always be here. So whatever you do on a day-to-day, -day, whatever it is that you are moving through, whatever it is that you are trying to manifest for yourself, how it is that you see your life, time is of the essence. There is no guarantee into tomorrow. And I have literally cried probably for the last five birthdays in a row. I'm a simp, okay? <laughs> And I know some of y'all probably thinking like, that is ridiculous. But there has literally been something every freaking birthday that has made me cry. And I was committed that the tears that I cried on my last mental health update, April 4th, 2024, were going to be my last tears. And I'd be dead gone. If I did not get into that service, I was strong. I was strong. But then I just felt the Holy Spirit when I was in there. And it just really moved me hearing people talk hearing the eulogy listening to the songs going through praise and worship y'all know praise and worship is my favorite part of about being in church and oh my god it was just some songs it was some messages that the pastor had just bestowed upon us like i really feel like that whole experience was just like a rushing wind of i don't know it was just 
you had to be there and i know some of y'all probably thinking like girl you went to a funeral on your birthday that's so sad yes i was crying at the fact that this person that i loved and i thought that i was like big love with you know i mean i loved them to the capacity that i could as a teenager or that i knew how with the emotional intelligence and tools that i had at the time that they passed away right i cry about that but it was bigger than that for me it was such a full circle moment that like i literally put my 20s to rest the night before and i walked into that funeral on the very first day of this decade of my life and i literally just had this spiritual experience that was just unmatched and i thought that i had it all planned out that i was gonna go in there i was gonna be strong I wasn't gonna cry because like who cries over their high school boyfriend in their 30 right but it was bigger than that and i just want to say shout out to my mom because my mom actually attended the service with me and she's such a trooper and she's such a writer in my life and i don't even think that she would have ever thought that she would have to sit with me through a funeral on my birthday which is also a trippy concept to even think about and see somebody that was like her child's age that passed away in a casket and like we know his mother well and things like that i don't even think that she saw that coming but i just want to say thank you mom for coming with me and being there for me during that time it was an experience that is honestly unmatched and i did not think that that's what i was gonna have to endure for uh, my birthday that's how my birthday started i started my birthday at a funeral within the first <laughs> few hours of me waking up i went to a funeral for my birthday and It was so life changing. It really opened my eyes and just helped me see things in a different perspective. I was also able to secure the very thing that I thought was not gonna I basically manifested the experience that I wanted. And so when y'all hear about this experience, y'all probably gonna be like, girl, uh, are you serious? Yes, big serious. Was coming to the East Coast for her Pink Friday 2 tour and I wanted to see her in person. And when I say there was so many freaking adversaries that came up against me and also me just trying to be this big R responsibility trope of having my ish together and making sure things are straight, not doing stuff irrationally. But it came to the point where she was having show after show after show on the East Coast. I was sad. I was so sad that I missed these shows. And in hindsight, I just had to realize that me missing those shows, it was just an opportunity for me. And sometimes we miss out on things because what we wish and hope for ourselves is just too small. Like God really be over here like no bigger. And that's, that's exactly what he did. So shout out to my sister because my sister is such a writer she is so so down for it. she is shit always she is so down to travel she's so down to take a trip have good experiences have fun so i reached out to her like for y'all who don't know Nicki minaj had a cancellation in new orleans because she that she was supposed to do the new orleans tour so I, I ended up getting on Instagram one day and I saw that she had rescheduled the New Orleans show that was supposed to be sometime before that to a new date. And so when I saw that new date, I immediately went on to the ticket site and was like, okay, baby, what's going to be the best seat and how can we get there? And my sister, she just went like, like above and beyond to ensure like that this trip happened for us and that we got a chance to experience it like she met me more than halfway to be able to have this experience and honestly my sister never missed for a birthday like she always shows up and shows out for me and y'all sisters could never 
<laughs> no tea, no shade, but y'all sisters could never. We got the flight, booked the hotel, got our tickets, everything so sick. For y'all who don't know, I'm in this weird space of I don't know what my style is. And I also never really had to dress myself. It was just give me clothes and I would just wear that and I would go pick up stuff here and there. But I was just in this pickle about what it was that I, that I was going to wear for this concert because I really wanted to be one or two things. I wanted to give Barbie glam or I wanted to give sexy sultry vibes. And so that's what the energy she was. And so granted, it's only gonna be one night and I ended up going on she and I'm not wear all this stuff. And some of the stuff worked, some of the stuff didn't. I didn't have full complete pieces to go bail for like a whole outfit and the Barbie glam that I was on it was gonna be too much because I didn't want to wear heels I knew it was gonna be a lot of walking um and so on and so forth so yeah I had like this whole wardrobe debacle around like what I was gonna wear to the concert and everything like that so once I figured out what I was gonna wear literally the day of I was like, okay, bet, set. And it also just, it all went with everything. Y'all go check out my Instagram because all the footage that I got from my experience at the Nicki Minaj concert, what I wore, what my hair looked like, all that stuff is on my Instagram reels. Y'all can see that at Unique Terche. And I'll put that in the description box so that y'all can click right on it and go check out y'all them reels because I did my big, big one. Also, ultimately, I was able to go to the Nicki Minaj concert, which I'm so happy and excited about. And, and God said bigger. When I tell y'all, we flew into New Orleans and we got there early. My sister requested a room with the best view. And we also requested for an early check-in. We ended up staying at this amazing luxury hotel, which I was just... Uh, like, I don't ever want to stay nowhere else. When I go to New Orleans, I want to stay there every single time. And I highly, highly, highly recommend we stay at the Four Seasons. And it was really, really nice. We had panoramic views at the Riverwalk. And it was a beautiful suite. I felt like a princess for my birthday. And they just catered to us so amazingly. We also had very good walkable convenience for everything that it was that we wanted to do. And I was and like this is the vacation of a lifetime okay <laughs> y'all definitely make sure y'all turn y'all post notifications on because i will be posting the next travel vlog and i'm planning to put my foot my whole body into that vlog y'all already know how i do my travels not just to my own home but to 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 be beat be. I really, really, really do plan to like give that video my all because I really want y'all to experience everything that I felt in the time that we was in New Orleans. When I say, I feel the same way about New Orleans that I feel about Houston, Texas, it's baby. I feel the exact same way New Orleans owes me Nathaniel. They owe me nothing, okay? 10 out of 10 plus 10 minus nothing i wanted to come and give y'all this update because god says as far as the process god says what he has for you is bigger than anything you can imagine for yourself when i say that the hotel that we stayed in the airline line that we rode on all these things i would have girl i was really about to drive <laughs> in my car six hours to brooklyn new york to go see this show and granted it's overall it's nothing wrong with being in new york we wanted to go to new york because that's her hometown we thought we, she was going to end up bringing out you know the best artists have the best features everything you know like people go to their hometown perform they show out show off so we felt like personally that was going to be the best show but god said no <laughs> god said girl don't you even worry about it. I will cancel a whole show just so that you can make it there. I will push it back just so that you can make it there. And if y'all be tapped in to y'all spirituality bag just like I do, just know that that's so powerful. Things can be rearranged just for you. And in the grand scheme of the collective, it's just like, oh no, she got sick because she got sick. But at the end of the day, God pre-orchestrated so that she got sick so that she would have to rearrange the show so that I could get more time to get down there and go down there and 
yeah <laughs> new orleans owes me nothing that nick minaj concert owes me nothing if y'all want me to talk about my full experience at the concert what i felt how it was like everything definitely let me know in the comment section down below and i'll do a follow-up video for you guys but i just wanted to really just come back and let y'all know everything that i've been processing since the last time i did a mental health update i have all these topics in my phone about video ideas that i need to put out for y'all and i've been making excuses around why i'm not filming why i'm not making content however <laughs> this time i just wanted to talk this time i just wanted to come here you and me and thank y'all so much for your words of encouragement for just strengthening me when i could not find the strength of myself and that's why i love y'all journeys that's why i love this community because y'all really said some really really sweet things and granny i could not get back to every single last one of y'all but just know that i'm grateful and i'm thankful and i definitely will be responding to everybody so thank you again for all y'all words of encouragement on my last video and this is where i am at this is the way i've been and that's pretty much what i was able to have revealed to me um around me turning 30 so definitely some major major shifts are happening in my life and i am going to really try to work on my patience as we know patience is one of the highest virtues and i really want to embody that more and just having big faith and trusting god that even the things that I think for myself, he's like, that's not enough. Like, I want so much more for you. And I got to start believing that for me and wanting so much more for me too. So, thank y'all so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that y'all are a little more relieved to know that I'm okay and that I'm no longer going through it <laughs> for right now. Knock on wood because y'all know life be life in but if you haven't considered subscribing to my channel, definitely do so if you're interested. And turn y'all post notifications on so you can be notified the next time that I do post. And if you have not joined my membership channel and you guys want to see what I'm up to on, in my daily life in a more intimate setting, then definitely join my membership. And there will be a button if you go on your computer or desktop mode so that y'all can join. You put your information in and then you will get notifications for member exclusive content okay early access intimate parts of my life and more consistent updates on my day-to-day -day, okay just think of the public channel is the highlight reel and think of the membership channel like my diary my nitty gritty okay we get into it all right <laughs> thank y'all so much for watching this video and until next time y'all be blessed and y'all stay blessed and i will see y'all on my next video bye journey